Hi everyone. So today I'll work on the mantle behind me here. I plan to fix it up for the spring and summer season. We're actually having a really beautiful spring-like day out there. Uh, it's March 1st, the sun is out, the birds are singing, and I really have spring fever. Not that I haven't had it for a while, but uh, you know, it's March now, so we should definitely get more days like this, hopefully. And we could have quite the opposite weather here in Ohio also in March. March is pretty unpredictable, but it's just a good feeling to know that every now and then we'll probably have a day like this. I'll show you guys the outside so you can see and hear what I'm talking about. Getting back to the mantle, initially when I put up the sign this winter, I thought I'd probably keep that for a good half year or so, but I do have another plan for it. Um, I'll probably move the sign to another wall because I do want to keep it in the living room, but I have a fern theme that I want to incorporate onto this into this space here. So I'm going to work on that, take you guys with me. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out, but I plan to add probably some live plants. I feel like this area, it's not right by a window, but it's close enough, like it's really bright in here. I think live plants should be okay, so we'll give it a shot. What I plan to do on the wall above the mantel is hang two large signs. I want them to have black backgrounds with the wood frame, and we actually sell these on Etsy, so very conveniently, I feel almost spoiled to say this, but I can go out in the shop and just uh, get them out there. John has some cut up ready to be made or put together, and I'm just putting these together and kind of setting them up on the shelf just to see how it looks. Signs measure 18 inches wide by 32 inches high. And I almost wish it was just a little bit shorter, but I think it might work. Sometimes I think you have to be careful if you just have normal ceilings like we do, like eight foot ceilings that you don't just fill your whole space up with a sign. But um, again, I think these should work. I didn't get a video of applying this decal, but I did it last night, and here I'm just setting this up on the mantle again just to kind of eyeball it, see how it looks. And initially I thought I'd do the same design for the second frame, but now I'm thinking of going with another fern. I have one that has more ragged edges, so we'll see how that looks. I'm going to interrupt a bit here and give you guys a cottage update since I told you I would and I do get a lot of questions about it. Those of you new to my channel or maybe you just haven't heard, we are building two little cottages that we plan to rent out and this is a dream come true for us and I'll take you back to oh, about three weeks ago. It was a really cold day and I'll give you that update first and then I'll give you an update from the day that I'm actually filming here. I interrupted my mantle decorating to go over to see how far they'd come. Uh, it's so exciting to me. Hi everyone, I'm ready to head on over to the cottages site. Uh, it's pretty cold out there so I'm really bundled up but I just have to see what they're doing. Uh, so excited, they're actually starting to build today, like the wooden part of the structures. Uh, so far, you know, the blocks have been laid. The weather just really hasn't cooperated for us this year to continue this building process. but. Um, I think they plan to work on it next week, so I'll keep you guys updated.
Okay guys, after about five minutes of being outside in that cold, I am ready to leave, but it's so exciting and it looks so pretty with the snow, even though it's really windy and cold up here. Uh, but I think it's time to go home and into my warm house. As you could see, they have the one floor finished and they're working on the second one. I think that's all they're gonna do today. And then next week they're gonna start on the walls and the temperatures are supposed to go up just a bit for next week. So that's a good thing. I almost feel bad for the guys over there. They have to be freezing. I guess they're used to it. <laughs> they're probably not as wimpish as I am when it comes to cold. So moving ahead to the present day as I'm filming update, uh, the weather has changed a lot, the snow is gone. As we're driving over to the site, I admit I was kind of nervous. You know, if you spend all this time designing something, especially something like this, you know, buildings that cost a lot of money, you just don't wanna see them for the first time and be disappointed, like something does not look right. So that's what was on my mind as we drove over because I knew the actual shape would be there. And we ended up stopping on the top of a hill about a half a mile off. You can actually see them. And I instantly saw they look okay. They look like I imagined they would. The color, of course, isn't what they're gonna be at this point, but I was really relieved when I saw how good they looked up there on the hill. At this point, only one of the cottages is framed and the other one they just started on when we were up there. As I'm editing here, I have a few more, more recent updates that I wanna throw in here. Um, these guys work fast. I've mentioned this before, but JDM Structures is building these cottages for us and they're doing an amazing job. We're so impressed. John and I went over after the workers had left here and it was another cold evening and of course up on the hill it's extra cold with the wind. I'm not used to that because where we live we're kind of in the hills, between hills and we have trees all around us so we don't get a lot of wind. I want to thank you guys for the interest that you show as I share this cottage journey with you. Um, I'm sure it's not everybody's thing so feel free to skip over these parts but I know a lot of you are interested and I do appreciate all of the messages that I'm getting already about people wanting to stay in them. You don't believe how encouraging that is. I can't wait to provide a place for you if you're ever in the area. And I'll definitely keep you updated as soon as we have that website up and running and are able to take bookings. I will share that with you. But it definitely won't be until we have them finished and are confident that they're you know, ready to go and to be rented out. So let's get back to the mantle. Since I'm going with a plant theme or a fern theme for the mantle, I was out to visit my sister's plant room. It's so handy. She always has some plants for me if I need them. Uh, she loves to garden and has a green thumb. And I'll leave all of her links down below in the description box to her Etsy shop and her Instagram. But she has lots of beautiful plants and I'm really lucky to be able to come out here and just get anything I want. She's pretty sure the fern that I'm getting here used to be mine, uh, one that I had maybe housed in her plant room over the winter and kind of forgot about, but I can't really remember. Uh, if it's the same one, it's definitely grown a lot since I've had it, but I think it would look good in front of the mantle. So we'll see if I can keep it alive in there. A lot of you have met Deeks. He's my sister's cat and he's so cute. He, of course, noticed when I went into the plant room, he loves it in there. Of course, he didn't want to go back out again when I had to leave. Usually when I hang anything on shiplap, it's so handy because I can just put my nail or screw in between the shiplap boards. But in this case, I can't really do that because it's going to be up too high. And if I go the next strip down, it's too low. So I have to go in between. So I'm going to move my hangers, like my frame hangers accordingly on the back here. Just set them down a bit. That way it'll be, it'll come in between one of the boards. And in case you're wondering, I get questions sometimes about the color of paint in here. Uh, on this wall, the shiplap wall, uh, the color is spectral. It's one of my favorite white colors. It's more the gray, gray white.
going to go ahead and repot this fern. I feel like it needs a larger pot and a little more potting soil. I know I keep talking about the beautiful weather we're having, but oh, it's so nice out here. The sun is so nice and warm. I think I'm going to incorporate this old vintage hair pillow cover that I've had for a number of years. I'm going to add that to the mantle arrangement. I'll probably end up putting it on my Paris chair that I just recently redid. And these pillow covers are available on the Etsy shop. They will look exactly like this except they'll be brand new. This one has been washed numerous times, but they will also have that zipper opening in the back for easy removal. In case you're new to this channel, I actually made this mantle a number of years ago and very simple, anyone can do this. And I ended up making a video here a few years back where I showed, it wasn't this mantle, but another one that I made very similar to this one. And I'll try to link that down below in case you wanna check it out. But if you're like me and you don't have a fireplace and you love to still have that setting like a mantle, in a shelf you know to decorate with uh, you may want to check into it again nothing complicated anyone can make one there's definitely not just one way to do it i'm sure there's many other ideas out there but i like to share my ideas in case they can be a help to someone it's always a challenge for me when i'm decorating this shelf especially if i'm using numerous different things that it doesn't look too busy in this case i'll probably just do little arrangements on either side of the shelf little groupings of three I hope you guys enjoyed this short video and are maybe inspired to start adding some spring cheer into your homes. It's so much fun. I imagine my next videos will be spring related since we are in that season. So exciting. And if you are looking for a framed fern, check these out on the Etsy shop. They will be available. As always, I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.